Yellow and Yangtze is a pretty tricky game, and the Hard AI poses a pretty decent challenge to a beginner. I'm going to walk you through a few ideas on how to beat the Hard AI here on Legendary Tactics. Now I'm going to walk you through a game. I'm going to play against three hard AIs, and I I stand by the idea that in any of these uh, on you know digital ports, um, if you can hold your own and and win against a hard AI, I think that you're at a level that's at least competitive. You can uh, play with uh, with human beings at that point and actually um, do relatively well. Um, you may not be an expert, uh, and certainly the, there are limitations to the uh, you know playing against the hard AI here. But um, but I think that there's uh, a lot of great lessons, and uh, you know if you hold your own, I think uh, it's a good uh, standard to hold yourself to. Now um, in this game, um, I start out with the um, the um, going for the the farmer pagoda the blue uh, points here. Um, I saw saw that you know that's a pretty I think a standard kind of opening is to play the blue leader there and then if you have farmers in hand to um, to build that pagoda, it is a very valuable uh, pagoda to build early. Um, it will be hotly contested, um, however, um, I think it's worth doing if you can. It's a great spot to just start off if you've got the uh, if you've got the opportunity. So um, now I'm looking, I see the blue tile and the available tiles on the on the right. So I'm gonna play my, my green tile, but I was just kind of looking to see if there's any possible way I could work it so I could still get a green point out of this. Um, and it turns out that I can't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play my green tile down here. I'm gonna grab the farmer tile from the available ones. Um, even though I sacrifice a green point, uh, I'm going to, um, you know, build that blue pagoda and I pick up an extra governor, an extra black tile, which is great. That's very, very good defense um, to hold on to that pagoda. It's probably going to be assaulted repeatedly, though, with revolt. So um, there's only so much I can do, but at least if I can hang on to it for a little while, get some points, uh, I think we'll be in good shape. Now, holding two yellow tiles, it's interesting. My opponent played a couple of uh, artisan uh, yellow uh, tiles down, which opens up the opportunity for a revolt. And so I, I just thought, you know what, that's, there's too, it's too good an opportunity um, because I have my leader I can add to the, uh, to the uh, revolt. And I went all in on this. And this may come at a cost, uh, you know, risking my, my blue pagoda, but yellow artisan points are pretty darn useful as you might know so they're they're wild cards essentially so um, and then i was able to build my yellow pagoda um, and get that up and running so now i've got a blue and a yellow basically right away which is pretty amazing um, so uh, that's a pretty good start uh, however of course <laughs> as i said it will be hotly contested and i really just don't have the strength to uh, to hang on to my blue pagoda um, hopefully I can steal it back, but at this point, there's not much I can do. Uh, I lose that four to two and, uh, have to retreat with my tail between uh, my legs. Um, so now when I look at what happens here, see, uh, the pot player that, you know, goes into uh, a revolt, spends a whole bunch of governors. And this is, um, a little strategy tip for you. If, if, a, if you see one of your opponents has just had a revolt and has gone all in on, you know, spending governor tiles, it may be worth uh, a challenge. So I'm going to do a revolt here on the off chance that the pot player literally has nothing to, to give. And I go all in. I've got my three there. Um, unfortunately, he happened to draw two governors, um, or at least, he, at least one governor, I think. Sorry, he put his leader down as well. So it was a it was a risk, um, and I was hoping to uh, to get away with it, but unfortunately I did not. Um, but sometimes that can be a good uh, you know risk to take because uh, not everyone's going to draw back their governor tiles uh, at the you know the right time. So um, I'm looking now to maybe just diversify, get a, a my red um, uh, army uh, uh, tiles down, just start. I'm building up my other points. I mean, I've got some 
Um, some great artisan points, four artisan points already, five uh, farmer, the blue points. So I'm doing, I'm doing fairly well and fairly comfortable with that. I don't like to see farmer um, tiles in my hand. If I can avoid it, I like to just get those down, score the points um, and uh, free up uh, those spaces for other uh, tiles that might be useful. Um, but I'm also kind of eyeing the, the, the balance here as well. And uh, I think uh, that, um, you know, I might as well, uh, you know, basically just play my governor tile there and steal that pagoda that was vacated. Um, it's not very strong and I don't have a lot of defense, but I figure if I can hold on to that pagoda for a little while, that could be... Um, you know, worth a few points anyway before it gets uh, stolen out from under me. I still have the Artisan Pagoda incredibly at this point. Um, and so uh, that's something that uh, is going to be very valuable. Now there's uh, there's uh, some vulnerability with uh, um, a couple of these, uh, <laughs> a couple of these uh, states that are set up. But at the moment, I've got three farmer tiles. You know what? I just got to get rid of them. Um, you know, I really just need to, to clear up my hand. It gives me a nice boost. I got eight farmer points now. I get another one. There is that other uh, space to build a pagoda down there. Um, there's a revolt, but it doesn't affect me, which is fine. Uh, so if I can get another farmer tile here, I could actually, instead of stealing back my, my old pagoda, I can build a new one. Again, it'll likely be hotly contested. I'm blown away that my, the yellow one is uh, still not contested quite yet. Um, I really don't have a lot of defenses, but there is a bit of bluffing to this game. And um, I imagine if if uh, you're playing against real players, uh, you know, you want to pretend you've got more uh, governor black tiles <laughs> than uh, uh, than you have or that you uh, you do maintain those tiles to defend yourself um, against uh, someone trying to steal that uh, valuable pagoda away. So I'm on, again, just look at my points. I've got the the green uh, pagoda rolling. I've got the yellow. Got a lot of points in blue. So I'm looking to get black and red points. So time to build uh, a, a red pagoda. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I have the, the tiles in hand ready to go. And uh, so now it's time to, to do that. Now, I did have my green pagoda just stolen from me, uh, but I've got some opportunities to... Uh, you know, kind of steal that back. I happen to pick up a green tile that'll be very valuable. And the other players, interestingly, are beginning to kind of build uh, towards um, potentially uh, a, a big, um, there could be a war that's happening here. I'm just going to steal the, uh, the Red Pagoda uh, from uh, my opponent there. And uh, that puts me in good stead. Now my the black points, the governance points are pretty low though at zero. I got, I mean, I'm getting a lot of artisan points, which are the, again, the, the wild cards, but I really have to start thinking about, uh, about that. Um, but for now, uh, I think just, uh, maybe stealing back that uh, green pagoda is worth my time. Um, and we'll just, uh, steal it from there. And, uh, I get a, a tile out of it and looking down, uh, to, you know, towards this the the bottom left corner, there's an opportunity to build uh, back that blue pagoda that I mentioned earlier, and I happen to have all the tiles. Lots of points to be had there. What I like about that river is it's kind of off to the side. It tends not to get interfered with too much. Um, you can it, it is limited in its length. That's the only problem with it. Um, so uh, it's a great place to build the pagoda though because. Uh, it can be a little, it's kind of a little off the beaten track. At least that's how it feels. Now you can see there's a lot of yellow tiles going down all of a sudden. That's making me a bit nervous. And it's actually going to lead to a misplay a little bit later on. Let's see if you can spot it. Um, I get my blue pagoda up and uh, just empty out those farmer tiles. And we are at um, 11 points, <laughs> 11 blue points. That is pretty, pretty good. That may be good enough uh, at this point. No need to focus on blue anymore. Um, there's uh, 40 tiles left, so um, there's still some time in the in the game, um, and I really like what I've what I've picked up here. I've got some governors, um, which are great. That's going to be defense uh, and offense for you know revolts, 
and um, also the uh, the the red army tile so I can steal back my uh, red pagoda as well um, so I'm kind of thinking not only for you know attack and defense here but I'm also thinking I need to get those governor tiles I need to get my 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 governor leader my the black leader down somewhere and start playing adjacent tiles and see if I can uh, uh, get some points that way so I'm going to steal back the uh, pagoda here get some more red points uh, which is uh, you know again I'm <laughs> looking at the, sc at the scores here it's great that I've got nine yellow artisan points but yikes I'm getting nervous here because the uh, I need more uh, of the governor points but I do like my hand it's it's you know in terms of the tiles that are available Okay, I just lost my um, my red uh, pagoda again, but I have the means of taking it back. And uh, hey, that's uh, that's not a bad uh, thing. There's some peasant riots going on, and I found there were some potentially vulnerable spots uh, for those peasant riots. Doesn't matter to me though, uh, personally, because uh, I've got more than enough blue points at this stage. Don't have to really worry about losing my access to my blue uh, pagoda. So again, I'm thinking I need to keep. Um, working. I've still got my green pagoda going. I've got my yellow still going. I need to get my red one back and uh, then focus on uh, getting some governors down. And again, the nice thing is I'm seeing a couple of uh, black pagodas that are vulnerable to uh, revolt because with four governor tiles in hand, I mean, it would, it would be pretty bad luck to lose that revolt. Um, and right there, I don't know if you noticed my play there, but that was actually a misplay as it turned out. And you'll see why in a second. If you uh, have a theory as to why, um, please, um, you know, take a guess. Okay, there you go. I lost my yellow pagoda and I, that was totally something I could have taken back. Hold your yellow. If you've got an extra yellow tile, if you've got the yellow pagoda, hold back that tile so you can steal back that pagoda later. Um, that was my mistake. So... Anyway, there's a big revolt, which actually works out great in my favor because um, Pod ends up spending a bunch of uh, governor tiles in that revolt. And so I know that I can likely win this. Um, and so I load up and put a bunch of, uh, of governors in there. It's a bit of a gamble. I didn't go all in, but I did enough to, uh, to win that. And then I place my governor there as well so that gives me three points so i'm on the way but we're down to four tiles left there's not much if any time here so um i'm gonna be pretty much stuck with what i got and uh anyway while you're watching this if you do have a moment to uh, click on like and subscribe down below it really helps our channel and uh, if you get some value out of these videos we have fun doing them and we hope you enjoy them and uh you can help us out by clicking uh, down below on those and commenting if you like um, so just to finish up the game here the tiles ran out I did not get another play so we look at the points of course I was very low in the um, black points but look at all those artisan points uh, they even did it all out and <laughs> as it turned out um, you know the, uh, the the governance the black wasn't even my worst suit <laughs> so um, this was actually my first win against three hard AIs, and I think there were some some good strategies that presented themselves. I hope you got some value out of uh, watching it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll we'll join you here again soon on Legendary Tactics. <laughs>